Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. Well, Christmas is over, Santa has come, and I guess I got a little bit of the post-Christmas blues. I mean, 12 months waiting, weeks upon weeks of hoping for the world's greatest Christmas gifts, and what did I get? A Nintendo Wii Entertainment System, two fully functional controllers, the latest addition to Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and no Mario Kart. Suck my candy cane, Santa! That was the cream of the Yuletide crop and you knew it! Instead, what did I get in my stocking? A holly jolly dose of bullshit known as Jingle All The Way. The first and thank god only Christmas film to star international punchline Arnold Schwarzenegger. And since I got the post-Christmas blues, you're gonna share this hunk of stinking yellow snow with me. So, grab your vomit bags and get ready to find out all the fun it is to ride in a horseshit spewing fuck ride like this one. Let's take a look. So it starts out with a show called Turbo Man. I'd say it's like Power Rangers for younger kids, but it's more like Power Rangers for retarded kids. I mean, I think this is the film's first big hole. No normal functioning kid would actually watch this intergalactic spacecraft. I mean, seriously, what kid would watch a show with a flying hunchback saber-toothed Care Bear in it? Well, apparently this kid would. A little boy named Jamie, played by Jake Lloyd. Jake Lloyd, hmm. Now where do I know that name? Oh. He's upset because his father is a workaholic played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'd just be upset if my father was Arnold Schwarzenegger. The last draw is when Arnold misses his son's karate graduation. Arnold tries to make it, but is caught in traffic, and is also stopped by the world's oldest policeman. Look, sir, I'm in kind of a hurry. Oh, well, if you're in a hurry. Arnold tries to hurry up, but ultimately misses the ceremony. I didn't make it. Thanks, Arnold. I never would figure that out if you didn't say something. Was this, movies for the blind? I'm walking down the hallway. I start to catch my breath. I look into an empty room with a janitor to emphasize what the douchebag I am. I didn't make it. Things don't get much better when his next door neighbor played by Phil Hartman starts becoming more fatherly than he does. Sorry you missed the karate class today, but don't worry, I got it all on video for you. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. You may remember me from such horrible Christmas classics as Here Comes Steven Seagal, Frosty the Van Dam, and the Stallone Who Stole Christmas. Arnold tries to apologize to his son, but Jamie's heart has been broken too many times for him to listen. Jamie, don't walk away from your father. You will come to me, Jamie, or I will destroy you. Blah! Is this it? Wow. This is really cool. What do you think, Jamie? And this guy was a multi-million dollar action star. Life is stupid. But Arnold, still feeling bad, tries to find a way to make it up to his son. If there's something really important you've been wanting for Christmas? Well, I've always wanted to ruin a Star Wars movie! I want the Turbo Man action figure with the arms and legs that move, and the boomerang suitor, and the rock and roar jetpack. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Johnny's gonna get one, and so is everybody else I know. Whoever doesn't can be a real loser. Well, it definitely won't be you. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Aw, materialism brings everybody together. That's what Christmas is all about. There's only one problem, though. Arnold doesn't have the doll. Which reminds me, you got the doll, right? The doll. I love how the wife isn't even really acting here. She's just preparing for the world's most unconvincing head duck for the camera. She does this so fast, I wonder if she hits her head on the sink. You got the doll, right? <laughs> That's gotta hurt. I also love this over-the-top expression that Arnold gives that looks like the cliffhanger of a horrible 80s sitcom. Because at this point, they'd probably be impossible to find. Uh-oh, how's Arnold gonna get out of this one? Will he have time to get the gift, or will the most unpractical and unplausible of hijinks ensue? Tune in next time when Masterpiece of Shit Theater continues. We find out, though, that while Arnold has to get the doll, he might miss the Christmas parade that they always go to. But Arnold reassures his son. I'll be there. I promise. Am I the only one that thinks this touching moment looks relatively threatening? I'll be there. I promise. I will eat you, Jamie! <laughs> While waiting in line at the toy store, he comes across a mailman who's looking for the same toy, played by the thankfully underappreciated Simbad. 
They spend billions of dollars on TV advertisement, and then they sit there and use subliminal messages to suck your children's minds out. If you were somehow blessed with not remembering this early 90s rape of comedy, consider that your own personal Christmas gift. Oh, okay, he's not that bad, but he does seem to have this unique talent of just sucking the comedy out of a scene, even if there's no comedy to be found. And then they sit there and make a kid feel like garbage if you, the father, who's working 24-7, delivering mail so you can make an alimony payment to a woman that slept with everybody at the post office but me! You hear that lack of joy and laughter that most people hear when certain comedians are around? That is the power of Sinbad. They try to go and get the doll, but it turns out the story is all out. I'm trying to find a Turbo Man doll. <laughs> they, these, these guys are looking for a Turbo Man? A Turbo Man doll. <laughs> Turbo Man's only the hottest selling Christmas toy ever. <laughs> and I think I'm having a psychotic episode. <laughs> Where's your Christmas spirit? That's the Arno we all know and love. Now squash their heads like grapefruit. He spots someone driving away with it, but unfortunately the driver recognizes Schwarzenegger and correctly steps on the gas. Arnold goes from store to store trying to find the Turbo Man, but comes out empty-handed. He takes his frustration out on a cardboard cutout as it's the only performance that's more wooden than his. I will destroy your cardboard! As if we didn't have enough annoying performances, Phil Harmon comes in again to put the moves on Arnold's wife. It's Christmas Eve and you're slaving over a hot stove. Is this the mom of the year or what? It's no big deal. And modest, too. You know I'm the antagonist in this picture because all poorly written antagonists always talk in a slimy over-the-top voice. <sighs> Things get even worse when Arnold tries to call his wife and instead gets nasty McJackass on the line. Ted. I need to speak to my wife. I think she's in the shower, Howard. Do you want me to go check? No! You stay away from my wife or I'll eat you! Your wife's cookies are out of this world. Who told you you can eat my cookies? You stay away from my cookies! Oh, these cookies! I gotta get the recipe from Les. Put that cookie down! Stay away from my wife, stay away from my cookies, and stay away from my wife's cookies or I destroy you! There's the next batch. Gotta go, Howard. Yep. Yeah, Cookies! Hey, 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 look who it is! Oh good, for a second there I started tolerating the art of filmmaking. You and I, we're the same kind of person, ain't we? Yeah, except, uh, he's successful and you're not. We're on late delivery of Turbo Man at Toy Wars! God! <laughs> at the store, unfortunately, they hand out colored balls that will take place in a drawing that will decide who gets the toy and who doesn't. If you're not one of the lucky few, we have plenty of Turbo Man's fateful Pet Tiger Booster in stock. Fuck Booster! Give me the Turbo Man, you girly man! Things get ugly when the mob breaks out and Sinbad steals the ball away from Arnold. Pikachu! Pikachu! Get the mailman! Destroy him! Destroy him, then eat him! Unfortunately, the ball moves a lot like Flubber as it keeps getting higher and higher the more times it bounces around. It falls into the hands of a genderly undefinable child as Arnold roams through the mall's playground to get it back. Out of my way, children, or I eat you! I eat you all! Yeah. Hi, little girl. Girl, that's what it was. No, no, just give me the ball. I got it. Fortunately, more people recognize Arnold and give him the proper greeting that he's used to, which still means no Turbo Man. But hope comes in the shape of a Belushi. You want a Turbo Man for Christmas? Forget it, I'm not gonna sit in your lap. That's not my bag. Oh, hey, a gay joke in a children's film. Merry Christmas. He tells him where he can get a Turbo Man at this sort of underground disgruntled Santa workshop where they sell hard-to-find toys at outrageous prices. But Arnold is given a false product as he tries to escape the workshop without paying. But this is harder than it seems as Arnold is confronted by dozens of Santas, killer elves, and even a ninja that uses candy canes as nunchucks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Idiot Land, where nothing is too ridiculous or too insulting to anyone's intelligence. Want to see Arnold fight homicidal Santa Clauses with a candy cane? Nothing is too hard for us in Idiot Land. Want to see a muscle-bound giant hit a little person across the room? In the realms of Idiot Land, anything is possible. Idiot Land, it's full of... IDIOTS! So Arnold finally escapes and calls his son to let him know the bad news that not only did he not get the doll, but he probably won't be able to make it to the parade. When someone makes a promise, they definitely should keep it. You know, it's like what Turbo Man says. 
Always keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. Yay, I'm acting! What would you know about keeping your promises? You never keep your promises. You never do anything you say you're going to do, ever! Well, that just puckers my lips! Damn you, Howard. Gee, that wasn't overdramatic. Damn you, Howard. Damn you. Damn you. Hello? My pizza's gonna be late? Damn you. Because the pits of hell decided we haven't suffered enough, we get another appearance by Simbad, as he tries to patch things up with Arnold once more. I remember one Christmas I wanted this one special toy, Johnny 7 OMA gun. Remember those, don't you? No. I still remember the commercial like it was yesterday. Gee, would you be so kind as to uh, not reenact it for us? Diane DePeter, Johnny DePeter, enemy sighted, Roger there, open oh. fire, and then Johnny with God, a Johnny 7 you. OMA one man army gun. Seven Damn. guns in one. Thing looked like a blast. Damn you! Wondering how much he's getting paid for this movie, Arnold suddenly looks over and imagines his son having a very similar future. Here's to you, Dad. Dear God, my son is going to grow up to be an unsuccessful, unfunny black man! But the chase continues as they rush into a radio station that apparently gives out the Turbo Man to anyone who can answer a holiday question. But that turns out to be bogus too. So the police come in, thank God, to try and take him away. But Sinbad tries to get out of it by taking one of his packages and pretending it's a bomb. Job, baby. But you shouldn't mess with that. Gentlemen, we've been duped. <sighs> Bomb. Just a sick world we're living in! Sick people! Huh? <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. <laughs> this movie actually had a funny moment in. <laughs> look! Look! I'm smiling! I'm actually smiling! <laughs> this movie actually had a really funny scene! <laughs> How many years in the bomb squad? <laughs> No, no, you're ruining the joke! Don't ruin the one funny scene you have in this movie! <laughs> you did it! You actually did it! You ruined the only funny joke in the movie, you jingle balls of ass! Damn you! Damn you all the hell! Arnold stoops to the ultimate low as he tries to steal a Turbo Man from Phil Hartman's house. But luckily, a psychotic, blood-hungry reindeer hunts him down to make sure he doesn't get away with it. Hey, don't look at me! I didn't write it! His wife finally decides to take her son to the parade, leaving Arnold behind. Ted, would you drive us? Of course. You can't bench-press your way out of this one. Arnold searches for the appropriate response. Fuck you, asshole. Oh, it turns out the reindeer is still hungry for Austrian meat. Oh good, what do you think the big witty Schwarzenegger line is going to be? You started it. What? Th that's all you got? Come on, you're Arnold Schwarzenegger! You're a professional at this! Come on, there's a million better witty lines you could say, like... No more reindeer games. Or... Hasta la vista, Rudolph. Or, if you're really desperate... I'll be buck. Just show us that you're trying. So they show up to the parade of the only affordable copyright characters they could get, where Arnold tries one more time to set things right. Here, he's mistaken for a stuntman slash actor. Isn't he already? Where he slipped into, here's a big shocker, a Turbo Man outfit. I guess it figures. Arnold already resembles an inanimate object that shouts nothing but corny catchphrases. I know you. You're Booster. Yeah! And who the hell do you think you are? Mary Poppins? Ooh. That's an image. Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mary Poppins. Del deleted! Arnold also partakes in, get this, a special part of the parade where he hands out a Turbo Man doll to a special child in the audience. Gee, I wonder who it could be. Jamie! He knows my name. And he has a thick Austrian accent for some reason. So Jamie marches up there and collects his prize and has the greatest Christmas day ever. All right, yeah, I know the routine. Yeah, I'm gonna say something like, well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't horrible. And then the movie's gonna surprise me with the shittiest part of the entire film. Well, I'm not gonna fall for it. Nope, I'm betting you anything that this 
is not the end of the movie. Merry Christmas, Jamie. Nope, nope, not the end, not the end. Guys, I think Turbo Man has selected a winner. Really? No surprises or anything? No last minute climax, no cheesy over the top special effects? Really? Okay, alright, I mean, it's true, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, it was bad, but not nearly as horrible as... It's Turbo Man's arch enemy! Fuck you, movie! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! So Sinbad comes in, dressed up as Turbo Man's arch nemesis, the Green Dildo. Come on, Byron. You're taking this too far. Yes, listen to the person dressed up as Turbo Man. He's not taking anything too far. So the boy runs away with the doll as Sinbad tries to get it from him. Everybody just applauds as they assume this is all just part of the act. This could be the end of civilization as we know it. No argument here. What you gonna do now, kid? Yeah! Oh! <laughs> That's right, Jamie! Kick him in the balls! The old man's greatest design flaw! So Jamie actually climbs up a tall building, all because he can't give away his beloved fucking Turbo Man. All right, kid, end of the line. Just give me the doll. Never! I would sooner die than part with my commercial piece of plastic. Okay, kid, there's liking a toy, and then there's insanely obsessing over a toy. I mean, your life isn't worth it. Just give him the damn plushie, you little moron. By the way, has anyone noticed that this is the longest stopped parade stunt in the history of implausibility? Well, at the rate this parade is going, Santa should flow by in roughly 12 hours. Why, Turbo Man, use your jetpack? It's Turbo Man! So let me get this straight. A parade that can barely afford what looks like two balloons and only a few copyrighted characters can afford a fully functional rocket pack that even NASA couldn't perfect yet? Is there a name for what's wrong with these writers? So he's flying through the city and... Uh, uh, I, uh, uh, okay, alright. Ladies and gentlemen, the film just gave up. It clearly doesn't care about the story narrative or making any semblance of logical sense, so they just said, fuck it, and started showing amusing images that will hopefully entertain your kids. Well, you know what they say, if you can't beat them, join them. Play me, come on and play with me, and bring your dog and cream, climb up my apple tree, look down my rain barrel, slide down my cellar door, help me be jolly face, let them go. Play, mate. I, I cannot, cannot play, play with you. you. My darling has the blues. He's got a rainbow. He's got a cellar door. But we'll be jolly face. Uh oh. It looks like Jamie is slipping. Turbo Man, help! Jamie! Jamie! No! I will have no one to eat my legs! <laughs> so, of course, Arnold rescues the boy and saves the day. Thanks, Turbo Man. I knew you'd save me. You are much better than that other overbuilt Austrian guy that I look up to. Oh, thank you, sir. I don't think you know how much he means to me. Oh, I think I have an idea. I wish Dad could have been here, you know, see me fly and all, but he didn't come. Your dad is not mad at you. How do you know all that? Yes, do tell, strange, muscle-bound, big T, square-jawed, Austrian-accented He-Man who isn't in any way my father? Well... <laughs> Who would know better than me? Dad? Howard? I'm a teacher, Bob. What? I haven't been this shocked since I found out the secret to living a long-lasting life was breathing. But wait, what's little Jamie up to? Merry Christmas. Wow. This is going to make my son really happy. As soon as I'm done serving 5 to 20. <laughs> I'm sorry about that uh, little tension we had on the roof up there. Hey, it's cool. I don't care that you tried to savagely kill me just to get your hands on a children's possession to satisfy your own sense of self-worth. For me, that's what Christmas is all about. But Jamie, I thought you wanted this doll more than anything. What do I need the doll for? I got the real Turbo Man at home. A Turbo Man who neglects me and puts his work before anything else. That's my dad! That's my dad! So long, Jamie. I'm off to neglect you some more. Wow, I can safely say that we've all learned absolutely nothing. Well, maybe one thing. Jingle all the way!
the way can jingle all the way to hell! This is the worst Christmas gift since Donald Trump's toupee! It goes against everything that Christmas is about, gets soaked up in a festering ball of commercialism, and actually has the balls to somehow get Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad in there. So, Santa, for giving me such a good gift this year, I have just one thing to say to you. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. The Nostalgia Critic is coming to your home, bitch! I'm Rip Roar and Pissed, I remember it, so you don't have to! Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! And a happy